We're a little behind, so I'll just try to run through it quickly. Um, ShareRoot is a company focused on protecting consumer data and privacy online. This is a huge issue, as a lot of people know. Think back to Cambridge Analytica and all of the data breaches that have been happening ever since. Right? So again, a huge issue online. There are not any technology platforms that solve this problem, and that is what ShareRoot is setting out to do with our media consent platform, and I'll detail that platform a little bit. But first, let's talk about why this matters. The laws and legislation throughout the world are mandating it so that companies actually need to be compliant in their data and privacy practices online. This is changing throughout the world, not just in one area or another. We're talking Europe, China's cybersecurity law, Australia's uh, Privacy Act, US's Privacy Act, India's Privacy Act, South Africa, and the list goes on, right? So the laws are changing everywhere. And the penalty for a company, if they are not compliant, is 4% of gross annual revenue is the penalty. So it's staggering to their business, of course. So you're gonna start hearing about different uh, legal threats and penalties to groups like Facebook and Google, et cetera. Marriott is the most recent example. So uh, that is the need, that's the market that we are in. Uh, the market itself is set to be $14 billion US by 2021. That is on a conservative estimate, growing quickly. Next slide here. The second value proposition for ShareRoot. So we've got two key value propositions. The second is we have been driving cash flow efficiency since going public on the ASX roughly three years ago. So we're a publicly listed entity on the ASX. Ticker is SRO. We've been driving cash flow efficiency ever since. Currently, we have three revenue generating streams within the business. The media consent platform that I mentioned will be the fourth, soon to start generating revenue. And to dive into each of these three revenue generating streams, again, I'll try to be quick. Number one, the social science. This was the first acquisition that we made back in April 7th of this year. It is a social media marketing agency based out of Melbourne, Australia, run by Female Entrepreneur of the Year award winner uh, for 2017, Michelle Gallagher and they are profitable. Within six months of coming in under the ShareRoot umbrella, they doubled their retainer client base. It's number one, second revenue stream, our user-generated content platform. It's been around for about four years. Kicks out about 17K USD MRR, which isn't a ton, monthly recurring revenue. Expenditures are at about 12K. Profitable business unit also will be growing. Third revenue stream, LudoMade. LudoMade is a game and an app development agency based out of LA. We acquired them within the last month. Their numbers very quickly. Over $2 million in revenue in the 12 months trailing. We're talking USD. Over 640K in profit in that time. All right, media consent. I'll just hit the solution real fast and then again I'll keep moving on. Media consent solution puts the control of preferences and uh, consent management into the hands of the consumer so that as an example, I use Costco as an example, I can say to Costco, you can have access to my first name, my last name, my email address, even my geolocation data. So you can see where I'm at when I'm walking around in a given store, right? But Costco, I'm not comfortable with you having access to uh, my physical address, know where I live, how many kids I have, or my marital status. All of these things are individual data points that media consent puts into the control of the consumer. As far as the launch process for media consent goes, again, I mentioned we will be generating revenue soon with media consent. It right now is in the third step of its launch. The first was a beta program to our esteemed advisory group, which we'll see later. Second was the second half of our beta program so this is a launch of the platform to a handful of brand partners. Now we're in the pilot program. The pilot program itself has a goal of reaching 20 brands, testing out media consent, and then we will commercially launch, i.e. start charging for it. As of now, we're over halfway through the pilot program.
The social science, just a little bit of additional information on them. As I mentioned, uh, they doubled their retainer client base in under six months after getting acquired by ShareRoot. Additionally, what we're starting to do is collaborate with them and cross sell. We're pursuing the healthcare space for media consent alongside their CEO, Michelle Gallagher, who I mentioned before. And what we're doing is, well, guess what? In the healthcare space, the ability for hospitals and nonprofits and research organizations and clinical trial bodies to acquire data and consent from consumers is key. Over 60% of clinical trials never get one participant. There is a lot of improvement to be driven there and you need to get consumer and people's consent and participation. Again, as I mentioned before, our UGC discovery platform. Uh, clients also include uh, Johnson & Johnson, Costco, UCLA, and actually Singapore Tourism Board. Each of these clients has been with ShareRoot for over two years now. This platform will continue to grow through outside partnerships with other tech companies. As I mentioned before, we've been driving cash flow efficiency since going public. As you can see on this chart, you've got net cash burn on the bottom, revenue generation on the top split out on a half yearly basis. We've been consistently driving growth, except you see that one dip two half years ago. That was when we were working on the acquisition of the social signs. The resulting half year afterwards, record numbers in revenue, record number in decreased net, net cash burn. We will continue to drive efficiency. The other uh, revenue stream that we've already touched on, Ludo made, as I mentioned before, they build games and apps. Their clients include Warner Brothers, Sony Pictures, Fox Searchlight Pictures, Stars, USA Networks, and many more. Again, there is cross-selling and collaboration potential between Media Consent and LudoMade because games and apps that we use on our phone are not transparent enough in the data that they collect on us. So Media Consent's platform will enable uh, LudoMade's clients, those big entertainment brands, to be legally compliant. The opportunity for ShareRoot is pretty clear. Uh, again, the data and privacy space is massive, and we've been driving cash flow efficiency uh, since going public. Our clients include some of the world-leading brands in their various industries. Our company management team uh, has experienced ASX folks, company secretary, CEO side, board members, in addition to experienced CEOs, both when it comes to uh, social media and technology itself. Our advisory board that I mentioned to you before have some of the world leaders when it comes to uh, policy. So a member of the EU Parliament, a member of the Privacy Alliance, uh, Privacy itself, the Chief Privacy Officer for Electronic Arts, and then a bunch of other folks spread across marketing and consumer data and privacy. So these are leaders throughout the world. They're on our advisory board and they've been influencing the media consent platform since joining. Future for ShareRoot, we believe, is quite bright. There will be cross-selling between the various company divisions. We will continue to increase the revenue numbers from each division just on its own. And the data and privacy space, again, is massive. We believe we have the platform for it and would love to talk to you about it a little bit more. So again, I'm Noah Abelson-Gertler, CEO and co-founder of ShareRoot. Thank you. Thank you very much.